Okay. So now we got that out of the way. There's a camp up here. So I'll go ahead and establish a camp in that little, um, area. And then we will move on to the Temple of Pride. The entrance to Mysterious Temple, the ancient elves called Solasian, stands tall. Foreboding and sealed in the middle of the Forbidden Oasis. It seems to have some connection to strange shards scattered across Thetis. Find the door to Sol Solasin? Solasin? Sol Solasian? I, don't, I have no fucking idea. What I do know is there's a camp right down here, and we're about to take it over. This would work for a camp. Indeed, it would. Nothing to report, sir. Nothing to report, sir. Oh, okay. I mean, if you got nothing to report, then you got nothing to report. What can I say? What was the other thing? It was like a something so a serpent stone. I need to find a serpent stone. I just gotta stand here and say for a second, this looks beautiful. Like, just look at this. I know it's not, like, the best graphics that, that Next Gen can offer, but it is pretty good. It's pretty goddamn good, especially, you know, for a third-person game, um, where detail typically isn't that refined just because you don't have- it doesn't have to be. You're not- your face isn't in it constantly. Hold on a second. Oh, fuck. There's a level 12. Don't attack. Don't attack. Don't be stupid. Alright, well, now this is a concern. I know I just saved, but still. This is actually a serious concern of mine, because those things are level 12, so does that mean the further I get into this land, the more dangerous the enemies? Because I'm not co-signing on that shit. Hold on a second. I know, I keep on stopping, but... Okay. I think that I need to go back where I was, go through that way. I could- ah, oh, fuck. That guy- I think he's coming right for us. Yeah, he's coming for us. Run! Everybody run! Don't- don't engage. Wait, there's more Fade Rifts? It's, it indicated that there were more Fade Rifts. Rifts high and low. The fuck? I'm not seeing any new Fade Rifts. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shit. Okay, where is this other thing? Temple of Pride. Okay, I've been going the wrong way. Motherfucker. Okay, so... I don't know what that is, but I'm going the wrong way, so we need to go back. Cool. Oh. Are they going to attack me? Okay, no, okay, they're friendly. Hi there. Hello. I don't know. Like, they're level 12, so I just was like, oh, fuck, they're gonna try to kill me. Nope. They're friendly. They're nice. Can't get in there. It's okay. Calm down. Jesus. I take my sword out, and you guys are like, oh, who? Who do we kill? Christ. Have your own fucking minds. Make your own decisions. This is a team effort. Don't just blindly follow me. Okay, well, hold on. We should loot that first. Sure, I'll take those things. Alright. I think that I actually need to get up there somehow. Maybe I actually need to go in through this, uh cave here. Who knows? Oh, fuck deep mushrooms. Fuck them in the face. I mean, this goes upstairs, so perhaps... Oh, fuck. There's a fade rift. Just up. No, not, not yet. I thought it was just up here, but I was wrong. Ah. Oh, 
Why not? There's one. No, that's not another. That's just water. There's another right there. These are actually pretty close. There's a third. Where is the fourth? Damn it. Hmm. Oh, there's number four. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pick up the shard, which is just over here. Ah, fuck. But that, that means I have to go down. Oh. oh I want to know how strong these enemies are. Before I get into a fight. Okay, they're level 8. Yeah, that's fine. We should search the area. Okay. Dead. Help. God damn it, close the fucking fade rift. Seriously, Solus? Get your shit together. This always pisses me off. You just waste potions. That's your that's what you do. That Solus's primary ability is to waste potions. He he he's just like the guy who ups the difficulty on the game. That, oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, well, now that we have that out of the way, <laughs> maybe we should go back. Because I feel like we've gone a little bit too far out of where the original destination was. But, uh, who knows? Maybe, maybe the door to Solison is somewhere in here, even though it's not. Oh, there's, uh, tre uh there's a chest. Free March's helmet? And a weighted dagger. I don't think I can really use the weighted dagger. I think that my what I have is better, but we'll we'll, we'll take a look. All right, yeah, I have a thief blade, and I have a weighted dagger that's just ever so slightly better. So no, thank you. Uh, but the free marches hat is the same le like same protection, but it doesn't look fucking horrendous. So I'm gonna go ahead and wear that. Having been said, wait, what do you currently wear? You wear a princess armor, so yeah, you don't need that. Um, you can wear the adventurer hat, cause you look like you look like a dick anyway. So I think it just fits right in with you. What this helmet looks way sky, cooler. Sarah? Hang on, it is an earnest question. What color is the sky when you look at it? You know, blue mostly, except for the breachy bits. And when you looked past the breach. As perhaps you were drawn to do. Greenish? And clear a long ways, and kind of... Felt like falling. Oh, makes my head hurt. You make my head hurt. We are not so far apart, you and I. Oh, I'm sorry, be. little piggy. I thought that could give me something. Nope, I just killed an innocent little creature. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh. Alright then. I feel bad now. Because it was like running away from me because it was scared. I'm a piece of shit. Ah, whatever. Uh. 
Maybe I need to climb that. Whoa. What the fuck is that? Whoa! What the fuck is that? It's a giant ass spider. Why is that there? And why- How can I climb this? Is there a way? I don't think so. It doesn't look like there's anything in here. I feel like that's where I need to be. Hey there! Little buddy? It's okay. Sorry I killed your brother. I thought it would be, like, helpful to the cause of the Inquisition, and I was incorrect. So, my apologies. Okay, this is descending further down. Okay, no, I can get back up. I, maybe. Yeah, okay, I can get back up. So, I'm alright. Um. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. Pull, pull it back. What's with all the dead bodies? Okay, I have no clue how I'm supposed to get up there then. Okay, there's another lever I can pull. Hold on. Alright. I'm a bit confused. Is there something I can take and put under that to be able to get on up there? Or maybe I can assign someone. Ah, uh, that's... I don't know. That's a little... Fuck! I almost had it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I can't, but I'm gonna give it one more shot. Yes! Fuck all you. You can fast travel this way. Somehow, probably. They can probably teleport. Yep, see, they're there. Let's go. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, right, alright. So, we're back the uh, way we came initially. No more fucking around. Time to just... Figure out exactly what I need to do. There's the door. Found the door. Found it, guys. It's all good. I did it. And there's a shard. Another key to that temple in the desert. Oh fuck, don't tell me I have to find all the shards before I can unlock that door. Because that would be a real bummer. Right, I'm gonna go back this way. Just for a second. I'm sorry, I know. I know. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, I am sure you can. Thank you. We can cut through here. Hold on a second. I'm... Hold on. Okay, I'm assuming that I can't just directly open the door. I wouldn't be surprised if I need all 15 shards, and that's like an alternative path that is, you know, filled with a bunch of enemies and killers. What the fuck? Who are you? Who are you? Following. You followed me, I'm just bitch. For stuff to sell you. Just to work. I know no one needs it. I'm with the Inquisition. You know here a while. But I assume that's important. It doesn't explain why you're following me. I'm not following you. You came all the way out here to salvage old mining equipment. Mostly I wanted to go into this one cave. I used to store stuff there. The damn thing wasn't overrun by spiders there. I put my wedding ring there. Couldn't stand the sight of the thing. I couldn't throw it away either. But it was a stupid argument. Part of me knew I'd still want that ring. I'll leave you be. Right. See you then. Bye. Okay, so, in case it was kind of hard to hear because of the uh, waterfall and all that in the background, she basically just asked me to find her wedding ring because she placed it there, placed it inside the cave before it was overrun with spiders. 
uh, because she had an argument with her husband. So, yeah. Motherfucker. Mother fucking motherfucker. That is upsetting. Something feels wrong here. It's worse by the door. I agree. Something's not right. Okay, so I need three more shards. I'm gonna go down here first, because this was kind of like an uh, unlockable path to go down. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. It's okay. Barbarian Raider Cleaver. Uh, maybe. Wait, wrong thing. He can use that. It, has, it does more damage than what he currently has, but let's take a look at the statistics on this. So, plus 2% attack, plus 5 strength, plus 2 willpower, increase maximum stamina by 10. That's pretty goddamn hel uh, helpful. This one um, does plus 7% critical chance and plus 3% critical damage bonus. <sighs> wow. I don't know. They're different, like... You know, this does a little bit more damage and increases your chance for criticals, but this just helps him, you know, be a better overall, you know, uh, character, I guess. So I'm going to go and leave him with what he has, just because I think it just helps more overall. So, yeah. Are you trapped down here, buddy? I'm sorry. Oh, wow, you can teleport? Let me help you out with that. There you go. Bye. You're welcome. They didn't even say thank you. They did not even say thank you. Dicks. What's that? Oh, Serpent Stone. Perfect. Okay, hold on a sec. Alright, so this kind of just, uh, you know, drew me back around where I already was. Uh, you know the thing that really sucks, though, is I kind of have to... Wait, where's the camp? Okay, that's the other camp. Alright, whatever. Anyway. I need three more shards. So I found Stratos, whatever the fuck that is. I'm liking just kind of exploring this place. It's enjoyable. Ooh, a thing I can read. Note found on a corpse. The note is charred, but a portion remains legible. The torch will scatter them or draw them. I'm fairly certain they'll scatter. <laughs> okay, so apparently fire either scares them away or causes them to come closer to you. Those are really the only two possible uh, things that could happen, but... Um, it's good to know. Okay. Um... Um, fuck that. Mm, yeah, fuck that. Wait, can I grab that? Sure hope I can. Nope. Can't, can't grab it. Can't grab it. Uh, hey guys, this is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. You should, really shouldn't be doing this. Yeah, no, this is a bad choice. Bad decision. Bad decision. I knew a duke who actually had a servant follow him to war with corks in case his bowels loosened. Called him his retainer. <laughs> oh, that laugh is terrible. You should be ashamed of that laugh. Whenever you find something funny, you should, like, just stare into space blankly? Because that laugh is horrendous, and it's offensive. And for the sake of other people, you should just not not do it. Just stop experiencing joy of any type. For the sake of others. Please, don't be selfish. Just please don't have any emotions. Open, bitch. Here's hoping I don't have to deal with a bunch of spiders in here, because that would really suck. The feeling at the door. It's gone now. I believe it was a magical ward of sorts. A warning, perhaps. Or a test. It explains why the miners kept away. Hmm. 
upon the waking sea operation available. Okay, so there's a bunch of things up here. What's this? Oh yeah, and then there's that ring. Do you need Sense more spells and magic somewhere nearby? Maybe downstairs then. Okay, yeah, see, you see the exclamation point is black for that, so I assume that means that that one is the, for the door. Going downstairs will allow me to see the other two, probably. I'm a little nervous. Just a little bit, nothing major, but... Oh. Perhaps if I made an attempt. Perhaps if I made an attempt. So much better than all of us, aren't you? Nicely done. The veil fire may prove useful. Yeah, if there's any spiders, yeah, actually, that very well could be the case. Here's the thing. Yeah, the second. Okay. Okay, everyone, get get yourself uh, some veil fire. No. What the fuck? There. Uh. Oh, that's her. For some reason, from the back, I thought it was me. I forgot that I uh, got rid of that helmet for a second. Okay, we all got Veilfire, excellent. Uh, we need more shards. God damn it. Fuck. No. Interacting with the light from the torch. Son of a bitch. Okay, so, as you can see, I'm currently not in the, uh, Oasis, Forbidden Oasis, I believe is what it's called, at the moment, and, uh, I'll explain why. This is kind of annoying, and it might upset some people, but there's honestly nothing I can do about it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so basically what happened, uh, and this happened about 12 hours ago, I had to take some time to cool off because I'm so pissed, um, but... Uh, I had to open one of those doors, right? It required, I think, like six shards or something like that. No big deal. So I went out for about 30 minutes or so, going across the land, looking for different shards that I could find um, in the Forbidden Oasis. Open that door. Awesome. Uh, awesome. You know, I go through there. But here's the thing. There's another door after that. The it takes you through, like, these stages, right? So I, I was only able to open one, or I was supposed to only open one door. Um... So I chose the spirit door the first time, uh, encountered a bit of a problem, so I reloaded the game and I opened the fire door the next time, alright? So when I open the fire door, I, there's this, it opens up to this little room, you kill the few, uh, like, um, corpses that are in there, they'll like these, uh, revived corpses, uh, corpses, essentially zombies, um, you kill them, you, uh, are then presented with another door after you collect the items that are given to you in that room. It's almost as if it's just like a loot room, right? Okay, so I open the next door. Awesome. I get through that one, and then I gotta kill the, the um, enemies that are in that little area, so I do that. Then it tells me I have to open this next door. Well, this is kind of annoying, because it now tells me that I can't open. I don't have enough shards, which is really fucking stupid. But anyway, I'm like, alright, well, this is really annoying. I guess I'll just go ahead and get all the shards that I can. So I stopped recording, and I just went all along the Forbidden Oasis, collected all 15 shards available in that um, uh, place. And uh, then I decided, you know what, just to be sure, just to be sure, I'm going to go to the Hinterlands, and I'm going to collect as many shards as I can. So let's go and take a look at uh, what happened in the Hinterlands. Okay, uh, probably it wouldn't be in there. So shards. As you can see, I collected 15 of 15 in the Oasis. Then I collected 17 shards in the Hinterlands. I had already collected, I think, like three or four before that. Um, so I go back to the door in uh, the Forbidden Oasis, and it tells me, oh yeah, that's not enough. You still need 11 more shards. Yeah, there's not that many available right now. So pretty much I just wasted the past hour, hour and a half of your time going through all that bullshit because I can't even finish the fucking thing. Um... The funny thing about it is that there's only one door left. It's the final door. And I was going to show the footage, but I opted not to because what's the point? It's just further wasting your time. All I do is kill a few zombies, and uh, then I get really pissed off. That's all there is to it. There's no, there's the very, there's a issue with continuity as well because 
I kept on stop record uh, like I, I stopped recording like two or three times to go back and get more shards and it just it, it, it just wasn't very entertaining so I, I decided not to in, uh, include all that footage and uh, so n when I am capable of getting enough shards I will go back to that place and I will open that final door and we will finish that quest but until then I have no such luxury of being able to do that the cool thing is I was able to pick up some nice little uh, Excuse me. Some nice little loot. Um, let's see. Mainly accessories. That's the that's the big thing. Now, I didn't really add anything to myself because I like this setup that I have. But, um, there... Who, who got it? Who was the first person to get anything? Um, hmm. Enhanced fire resistance. You know, because I chose the fire door, it gave me a lot of stuff to be able to resist fire. So, I gave him, Blackwall, fire resistance... And I also got another one after that. Oh, and I also got these um, Wall of Ice Rings, which increase ability duration by 30%. I got a few of those. So I gave Vivian uh, two of them, or one of them. There was already one I had previously, and I gave Solus the other one. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Varric got the other Belt of Fire Resistance. I haven't used Varric in a while, so I'll probably use him pretty soon. But, you know, the thing that really bugs me about this is that... You know, I go through all this shit. I go through like an hour and a half of content. I, I've pretty much cleared out in that in that entire map. And the only thing I have left is that final door. I did all of that to be told, oh yeah, now go ahead and do some more stuff. And then come back here in two hours to finish up the very final part of the fucking mission. That's so stupid. Like, that is the dumbest thing I think I've seen in at least a week. At least. Because keep in mind, I play video games pretty frequently. But at least a week. And that's saying something for me. Alright, so that really pissed me off. Um, it's probably the biggest detraction that I have for this game now. And uh, it's a sign. Uh, hopefully, it's not a sign for things to come because if it is, it's really going to take away from my enjoyment of this game. Because Especially for, you know, labeling purposes. Because that's what this video is going to be. You know, the fire door. That was going to be a big part of it. Um, can't do that now. Can't fucking do that now because, I mean, what. It, like, I haven't finished it. So, anyway. That's really annoying. But, oh, and on top of that, one other thing. When I did enter those doors, it was essentially me that was killing all those zombies. Because my squad mates, randomly, out of nowhere, decided, yeah, we'll go ahead and take a break. And they just didn't fight. They didn't fucking do anything. I don't know whether it was a glitch or what. My settings are all, you know, to follow whatever I do. So they should have been attacking the creatures just like I was. But they weren't. Don't ask me why. That was just how, how it happened. So, um, once again, I apologize for wasting your time with that stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close out this video by picking the Templars or Mages. I wonder which one I'm going to pick. And uh, then after we do that, um, you know, we'll probably I'll probably record about 15 or so minutes of that the beginning part of that quest. And uh, the next video after that will be probably just all of that. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and go into this room over here, I will take because, shut up, because, uh, research and stuff like that. Yeah, there. I don't know what that stuff does for me, necessarily, but whatever. Oh, you know what? I haven't talked to Josephine in a while. Good day to you. Hello. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any thoughts on the people here? Who did you mean? What do you think of Sir Blackwall? Sir Blackwall seems as loyal to the purpose of the Inquisition as he is to the Wardens. His travels must have taken him strange places. I wish he'd speak more about them. What do you think of Vivienne? We've met a few times before at court. She remains a truly accomplished player of the game. So long as her interests align with yours, Madame Vivienne will be a most valuable ally. I'd love to know how you and Sarah get along. I know she extracts gossip from the servants, and she keeps prying into things. Sarah's ability to vanish whenever her mischief's discovered must come in handy, however, I'm sure. Sounds like you're a bit Let's annoyed. Later. Another thing. I thought that, that there might be like a dialogue cutscene or something like that, but evidently not the case. Ooh, what was that? Oh, no, it's just some of the War Council. Okay, we'll do that in a second. There's a couple things I'd like to do first, because I haven't really explored this place very much. 
Um, can't open that. I guess I already went through this place, but there is like a little, not when dungeon the area, sky, but you were the sky. When there I think no it's actually earth, that door. You um, but you know, there's an underground there sort of area down here, or more so downstairs, not necessarily underground. Hello, probably. Um, and I remember there were a lot of books down here, and I'm not going to read all of them or anything. I just want to be able to get the experience for them. That didn't open anything up, but okay. Uh, fuck that. I don't want another Canary Battle Axe. I don't need it. Alright, so this is just giving me XP. Maybe I read them already? I don't know. Then again, why would they give me XP? That is perplexing. I'll take that. Why not? You know, I just look at this as like, you know, a way of helping myself level up quicker. You know? I'm already level 8. I'm a level past what I can do for uh, the Templars and Mages quest, actually. You know, it's between 4 to 7, right? So... I'm actually kind of exceeding my abilities for that area. What's up, Giselle? You return. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Your healers. I don't want Inquisition history. How are the people doing after what happened at the Conclave? They are scared, of course. Many have lost homes or loved ones. I doubt many will sleep well until you have sealed the breach. I have offered what help I can, the rest is for the Inquisition. What more do you wish to know? Hmm. What are you doing to help these people? My sisters and I have been tending to the injured as best we are able. Some refugees come with food, while others arrive empty-handed. I have helped ensure that all have enough to eat. Beyond that, many simply wish the familiar comfort of the chant of life. It is little enough work to offer some comfort to those in pain. Farewell. Farewell. I don't know, I just find... I just find Mother Giselle kind of boring. So, I don't know, like, she just... Whenever I talk to her, I just feel like I'm about to fall asleep. Sorry. So apparently I need four more blood lotus. Is would it be lotuses or lotus eye? I don't know what the plural would be for lotus. Maybe it's just lotus. Oh, I have a oh cool. I have a perk. Excellent. What should I go for? You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and save up on Inquisition perks until I can afford something uh, more valuable and uh, more helpful. I saw Deft Hands cost like four points or something like that, so I'll hold off on that one. Yeah, fuck you. I hate that quest. Hate it. Uh, I know that I unlocked a new- yeah, here it is. This was the new thing I unlocked when stepping foot inside of that door. Um, the Soleil door or Soleil- I don't remember what it was fucking called. Okay, um, upon the waking sea, the Almari runes found in the mountain passages outside Haven have finally given up more of their secrets, po uh, pointing to one of the larger islands off the northern coast of Ferelden. The island is quite large and covered in dense wilderness, so searching it will be an involved process. According to the runes, however, there should be some connection to the original disciples of Andraste and the Guardian of the Sacred Ashes. So, wow, holy shit. Three hours. Okay, well, Colin takes the least amount of time, but let's go and read each one. I'm going to pick Colin, obviously, but still. So, uh, first, Josephine. I know of a few adventures trustworthy enough to send to the island. Let them search... And report back to us. It was adventurers, by the way. Um, Liliana, this requires stealth. A few skilled agents given enough time um, to quietly search the islands. And then Colin, as soon as we show interest in the area, others will follow. So let's go in force and occupy the islands. All I right. like it. 
And why not? Might as well gather some coin. So, so just can go ahead and do that. And Liliana could just, you know, not do anything. Because fuck her. Alright, so obviously I'm going to pick the mages, but let's just take a look. Okay, I think I've read this before, but I'll do it again. In Hushed Whispers. Redcliffe Castle and the mages who could uh, who could close the breach are under the control of Magister Gerion Alexius. A venatory cultist with an unhealthy interest in Trevelyan and the power to reorder time itself. He has kindly invited Trevelyan to the castle alone to negotiate. It's an obvious trap, but Leliana and her agents can infiltrate the castle and remove the venatory threat while Alexius's attention is diverted. A dangerous game, but it's our best chance. I like it. Let's go. We don't have the manpower to take the castle. Either we find another way in, or give up this nonsense and go and get the Templars. Redcliffe is in the hands of a Magister. This cannot be allowed to stand. The letter from Alexius asked for the Herald of Andraste by name. It's an obvious trap. Isn't that kind of him? What does Alexius say about me? He's so complimentary that we are certain he wants to kill you. <laughs> Not this again. Redcliffe Castle is one of the most defensible fortresses in Ferelden. It has repelled thousands of assaults. If you go in there, you'll die. And we'll lose the only means we have of closing these rifts. I won't allow it. And if we don't even try to meet Alexius, we lose the mages and leave a hostile foreign power on our doorstep. Even if we could assault the keep, it would be for naught. An Orlesian Inquisition's army marching into Ferelden would provoke a war. Our hands are tied. The Magister has outplayed us. We can't just give up. There has to be something we can do. We cannot accept defeat now. There must be a solution. Uh... Contact the Arl? Where is the Arl of Redcliffe? I'm sure he'd help us get his castle back. After he was displaced, Arl Tegan rode straight for Dunarin to petition the Crown for help. I doubt he'll want our assistance once the Ferelden army lays siege to his castle. Wait. There is a secret passage into the castle, an escape route for the family. It's too narrow for our troops, but we could send agents through. I too like risky. It. Those agents will be discovered well before they reach the Magister. That's why we need a distraction. Perhaps the envoy Alexius wants so badly. Focus their attention on Trevelyan, while we take out the Tevinters. It's risky, but it could work. Fortunately, you'll have help. This man says he has information about the Magister and his methods, Commander. Your spies will never get past Alexius's magic without my help. So if you're going after him, I'm coming along. The plan puts you in the most danger. We can't in good conscience order you to do this. I'm good to go. still go after the Templars if you'd rather not play the bait. It's up to you. No, I'm good. Don't worry. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. I volunteer. No problem. Okay, so Dorian is coming without a doubt, and he is a mage, so I don't think I need to worry about bringing another mage. So let's go ahead. Hmm. Let's go ahead and bring Blackwall. I feel like he's rather reliable for the most part. Has very strong armor, very good at um, drawing in enemies so, you know, we can flank them. The only thing is, who do I want to bring along with that? I don't think another mage would make very much sense. Uh, so it's really between Varric or Cassandra, in all honesty. We could use Cassandra, and then since we... Uh, and I've said this before, but having two warriors could be very helpful. You know, drawing the enemies in to fight them too, while uh, myself and Dorian take them out from the back. Or we could bring in Varric, who could be an additional uh, person to... Uh, you know, take these guys out from a ranged position. But I think that, given the circumstances, Cassandra would probably be the smarter option. Even though I, you know, I haven't used Varric in a while. I think Cassandra just, it, it makes more sense. So let's go with her. Announce us. The Magister's invitation was for Master Trevelyan alone. The others must wait here. If my friends can't enter, 
then I won't go in either. This is eerie. I really don't like this. My Lord Magister, the agents of the Inquisition have arrived. My friend, it's so good to see you again. And your associates, of course. I'm sure we can work out some arrangement that is equitable to all parties. Are we mages to have no voice in deciding our fate? Fiona, you would not have turned your followers over to my care if you did not trust me with their lives. If the Grand Enchanter wants to be part of these talks, then I welcome her as a guest of the Inquisition. Thank you. The Inquisition needs mages to close the breach, and I have them. So, what shall you offer in exchange? Uh... I don't know. What should I... Should I come on strong? Just be like, I know you want me dead? Or should I pl play ball for now? Hmm. I think this one's the most appealing. Yeah. I'd much rather discuss your time magic. I'm afraid I have no idea what you mean. He knows everything, father. Felix, what have you done? You wanted me here. Why? Do you know what you are? You walk into my stronghold with your stolen mark, a gift you don't even understand, and think you're in control. You're nothing but a mistake. Ooh. If you know so much, enlighten me. Tell me what this mark on my hand is for. It belongs to your betters. You wouldn't even begin to understand its purpose. Father, listen to yourself. Do you know what you sound like? He sounds exactly like the sort of villainous cliché everyone expects us to be. Dorian, I gave you a chance to be a part of this. You turned me down. The Elder One has power you would not believe. He will raise the Imperium from its own ashes. That's who you serve. The one who killed the Divine. Is he a mage? Soon, he will become a god. He will make the world bow to mages once more. We will rule from the Boric Ocean to the Frozen Seas. You can't involve my people in this. Alexius, this is exactly what you and I talked about never wanting to happen. Why would you support this? Stop it, father. Give up the Venatori. Let the Southern Mages fight the Breach, and let's go home. No. It's the only way, Felix. He can save you. Save me? There is a way. The Elder One promised, if I undo the mistake at the Temple. I'm going to die. You need to accept that. Seize them, Venatori. The Elder One demands this man's life. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work out. Your men are dead, Alexius. You are a mistake. You should never have existed. 